Hello, coaster spotters. This is Alex checking in from Santa's Village in Ontario. We're about an hour and a half north of Canada's Wonderland. So there's your reference point. We're gonna go in, uh, check out all they have to offer. We're gonna show you Santa's Village, and also we'll show you San Sportsland, which is a free to enter area that has, I think, some arcades and go karts. But we'll show you everything. First up is gonna be Santa's Village. All right, as you enter in, we have a lot of photo ops. You can get your picture of a Santa's, Santa bear. They have a Kissing Cupid's booth over there. They have a little carousel. Let's go take a look at it and see if it is antique. It is definitely an antique carousel. We will take a ride on that, I think. That actually looks really fantastic. Definitely wood car. It looks really old and fantastic. I love the uh, carousel building it's in. That's very uh, woodsy looking. Looks great. All right, so as we're going around, they have a restaurant, Kringle's Kitchen. Uh, burgers, fries, uh, they have the chain Pizza Pizza, inflated prices unfortunately. But, uh, let's go take a this. We see this little reindeer and I... Okay, so I am assuming that what you can do is you can go somewhere and get a punch card and then you go around in different stations that your kid can then punch and then at the end you will probably most likely get a reward. Watch from Pringles Kitchen, they have these uh, trash cans that are themed to a burger on top of fries. Super cute. Here is the train, that thing is hauling. Look at that, super cute. We'll take it out for a ride later on on that because that looks like a great time. All right, first roller coaster that we're coming across is Peppermint Penguins coaster. This is a SPF Vista spinning coaster. The three loop model, so you get to go around a little bit more than normal. Uh, let's go ahead and take a ride. As you enter the coaster, you have this giant penguin to greet you. He says hello. And those super cute penguin coaster cars. All right, uh, ride height, you have to be 47 and then 38 to ride alone. So we you can go and pick up a scavenger hunt card, uh, which is also the coffee shop. It's still located right at the front of the park on the right, right near the roller coaster entrance, Santa's sleigh which we are gonna go take a ride on now. This has been at the park since at least 1985 and is a powered coaster, so it is self-propelled on the track by a tire, but uh, should be a lot of fun. I love the uh, reindeer on the front, and there it goes. Santa's Village. We're about some reindeer. We got some reindeer. Uh, they have uh, little holes for you to pet them. Oh, damn. Doing reindeer things. And there are their friends up on the hill there with the sleigh. All it needs is Santa. Now, over here we have Santa's cottage where you, of course, can meet Santa. There he is, right there in the doorway. Over here we have a giant walk through Christmas tree. You can get some of those famous beaver tails. And right over here is the Candy Cane Express. So we ended up getting a beaver tail. We got the exclusive Mrs. Claus's gingerbread beaver tail. So over by Santa's workshop, there is uh, something under construction. Hopefully I'll be able to tell you what it is after I look it up on the website. Oh. Oh my god. There, there guys what is that so this is super unique this is Santa's summer sleigh a boat ride on the river wow so I didn't any, any research we were here to ride the two roller coasters 
So, so to find something this unique is super awesome. Look at that, Santa and reindeers on a boat. What? This is amazing. Look at this. We've had some of the beaver tail. Ariel, thumbs up. Yep. I mean, as you know, it's a very sugary fried thing, but the combination of gingerbread and sprinkles with the icing, very good. Thumbs up. So, so this is this place is surprising the heck out of me. I love when you find these unique attractions. Like, who would have thought you could go on a boat ride included in your mission at this little place? Which, by the way, is thirty dollars. Uh, and that's a summer special right now. It will be increasing next month. So let's go for a ride. Seven to find us on here. It's going to be appropriate for a car. Oh my God! This is their first one. Lots of history here. I love that they have this. This is super cute. Now let's go check out the rest of the rides. So over in this corner you have the Ferris wheel themed to Christmas ornaments. That is awesome. And uh, you have the Polar Parlor ice cream and these absolutely adorable tables and chairs made of ice cream cones. So we have the Blitzen's balloons which takes you up and you spin around and you can spin them like a teacup. Another reminder that we're not in America anymore. No fences to the water. We have the Red Baron Plains. We have a little free fall ride called Jumping Star and another carousel, a little tiny one this time. The antique merry-go-round. There's that train again, which looks fantastic. I wish we had time to do it, but we want to show you guys the rest of this place, so we're going to go skip it instead. Here is Treasure Island. These are swan boat type things, themed to little boats, little pirate boats, completely free, with admission. Look at this, Eagle's big zip goes all the way across the water. Look at that, that's awesome. Here we go, look at this. Themed to tractors, here's the barn. You have Santa's farm tractors. So you get in these and it takes you around. Look at that. Super cute. So it's fun that you have a little antique car ride as well. And now we've come to Elves Island, which looks like a play area for kids oh, to push. climb around. Oh, free with admission ropes course. Very small, but looks fun nonetheless. Look at this place. This is very cute. Look at this. Oh, and of course you can get some poutine at Prancer's Propine. Look at this, super cute. Look at the little gingerbread man on the course. Little tr Christmas trees, little uh, Christmas presents. So this is Elf Sky Challenge. That is neat. 
And I like that it's more than just a RCI. This is more like what I saw when I was at camp or when I went to camp back in the day. A two loop course. Yeah, yeah. So the more expensive ones, the stuff that we would have seen at like the ski resorts and stuff like that. So this is a very picturesque park, very cute. Again, not that biggest, but uh, certainly enough, uh, if you have little kids, certainly enough for them to do before they will be tuckered out. That is for sure. That's about it in Santa Village. We're gonna go take a look at Sportsman's area really quickly and show you what they have to offer there. Look at this, one of the last rides tonight. And Santa's rotting. So cute. Uh, yeah, you jump off it and you slowly descend all the way to the ground. Looks like about 50 feet tall, so pretty big. Over here we have a uh, bungee type thing. We have batting cages. Something that used to be in a lot of American theme parks, but not so much anymore. Over here we have Mr. Rudolph's Birdies and Boogies Miniature Golf. Yeah, here's a quick look at this. This one looks really fun. I love how shaded it is. Reminds me a little bit of Knobles, but new, newer type of courses. When I say it reminds me of Knobles, I mean by all the shade and the forests and stuff. This one looks super fun, doesn't it, Ariel? Yeah. Finally, over in Sportsland, we have Rudy's Racers, a go-kart track. And uh, I thought coming to a Santa's Village type thing when we saw this pulling into the parking lot that they would be slow, but they are definitely not slow. If not, they're, if anything, they are faster than most American go-karts. They look fun. Look at that. Has a bridge and a tunnel and everything. I'd want to do it. Yeah, we totally do it. So yes, this ends our tour in Muskoka. Ontario at Santa's Village. Very cute. Lots of surprises with the boat tour. Really cute themed rides, little activities for the kids to do. And then a whole like action park with a really cool ropes course, go-karts, and uh, I'm sure there's some stuff we missed. So I would definitely recommend this to bring your kids. And if you're a coaster counting person, definitely worth the stop. And I would uh, schedule a little extra time to check out at the very least that boat ride because I think even though it, this is kind of expensive that was totally worth it to take a nice relaxing boat ride down the river. About 20 minutes. Yeah it's about 20 minutes long so uh, and the, the captain was hilarious. So that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Alex. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. See you next time and of course have a Merry Christmas even in May.